Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're going to take a look at the Ryobi doorknob door lock install kit. Let's check it out. So we already took a look at the Milwaukee install kit and I really liked it. I've had the uh, Ryobi for quite some time now. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use. There are some downfalls to this. Um, but it's extremely easy to install your doorknob and your latch and so on. So we're just going to show you how to do this, how it works, how you actually hook this thing up and uh, some of the features on it. So what we're going to do now is we are actually going to attach this to the door and we are going to try to make a cutout. What you're going to get with this actually is this install kit. You're going to get a couple bore saws right here so you can see pretty sharp this was used quite a few times and it's um, this is a two and one eighth and then you're gonna get the one inch and that is right here so these will come with the kit so the first thing you need to do before you actually install this is determine you know the length of the door hole compared to the latch and uh, you can adjust this from two and three eighths to a two and three fourths uh, or three quarters, whatever you want to call it, simply by sliding this like this. And I always usually go with the two and three eighths. It's just easier. Uh, but a lot of the doorknobs, you can adjust those. The latches, you can adjust them inside here. Uh, and depending how wide you want those or how far apart or how out you want that. So what I'm going to do now is I am actually going to install this onto the door. So the way you do this is this here actually expands so if your door is a little thicker, then this will open up. If your door is a little thinner, then that's fine. But you have two holes here. And what you need to do is put the two screws that you'll get with the new door latch in here to actually hold that on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. And you can see that this door is a little thinner. So right now, all I'm going to do is screw these into the two holes to hold that in place. All right, so now you can see that I, I have this installed. I have this on here. And all I did was I put two screws, one here, one here, and it holds that in place. And it's actually pretty solid. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, that system works a lot better than you think it would. There's other kits out there that have the vice clamp on there that I also like, but this works just as well. So one screw here, one screw there. All you gotta do is drill out the holes and make sure that you put a pilot bit in first before you try to put those screws in. You don't want to split the door and you don't want this to move around on you. So just put that on there, line it up, and then drill the holes. Once again, there you go. There's the shot right there. All right, so some people like to drill the latch hole first. I prefer to drill the door hole first. And what you're gonna do is take the bit that they give you right here, and you're just gonna insert this right into your drill. And be careful, these are extremely sharp. So what you're gonna do is just put this into the hole, and you're gonna have a pilot bit right here. So this is gonna help you prevent this from jumping all around. So line that up right inside so you get that perfect. And then you just start to drill. Now you can pull that out, get some of that sawdust out of there. <laughs> On solid heavy doors, you may have to turn this around and go the other way in once you get halfway through. But this one right here is a hollow door, so I shouldn't have that many problems with it. Okay, let me back the camera up and I will show you what this is starting to look like. So you can see what this is starting to look like here inside. And uh, we're just going to go the rest of the way through. Now what's starting to happen is, this door's a little thicker than I thought it was. All right, you can see the pilot hole right here. I just turned that door on the other side. Now all I have to do is put this right in here and go from there. There you go. And it lined up perfectly. And you can see now you have a perfect hole for your doorknob. So let's do the latch. Okay, and FYI, this is what the plug's gonna look like when you take it out, right? So you can just toss that. You don't need this anymore. 
And now what I did was I took that other saw bit off and now I still got the pilot drill and I'm just gonna take this one inch and I'm gonna screw that down on like this. Okay, we should be good to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the latch hole. So let me slide this back here a little bit. We're gonna line this up, hold your door. You can see that's starting to chew through there. And the reason why it's stopping on me is because sometimes it does this. It actually gets all gunked up. So we're gonna take that out real quick. Okay, as you can see, I cleaned that out. And sometimes the best way to do that is just unscrew this and then get a screwdriver and pop those out from the back. So let's finish this up. <laughs> yeah, much better. Once again, you can see how this gets clogged up like that. So, I'm done anyway. Just clean that up just a little bit. Okay, so let's take this off and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so to remove this, all you're gonna do is take those screws out that you put in. And all you need is a drill for this entire process, really. All right, so now you can see, let me remove this camera here. Now you can see that I have a perfect hole right here for the doorknob and a perfect latch hole right here that we can put that latch in through and then hook it up with the actual doorknob. So you can see it works very well. It makes perfectly round holes. And you have these two holes right here that you drilled in. I'll show you how you can do this here. So we have another video here uh, on our site. This is the Ryobi latch strike basically uh, install kit. And all you're going to do, and I'm not going to show you how to do it now because I already have a video up, but basically all you're going to do is take this, put it up there, and you're going to strike it with the hammer. And you want to make sure it's on the hinges or it's, it's laying down, something solid, so this doesn't move on you. But you're just going to strike that, and then you can chisel out that, that area that you need just by doing this. And it's, it's a very cool process. So uh, check that out, but that's how you would put the latch strike plate on. As far as it goes with the tool itself, the install kit you know it's built okay the only issues i have with this is one this is plastic okay they're all plastic any any brand you find is going to be plastic it doesn't matter if it's dewalt or milwaukee but sometimes these do get chewed down a little bit so you know it's not the best quality there but it works it's fine and the other issue i have here is sometimes the screw holes actually get destroyed when you're trying to put the screws in it just i don't know it eats it up inside so that's not real good in the same thing in here it's just everything's plastic all the time you know i just wish they would come out with like a hard polycarbon or something <clears throat> but uh you know other than that it works very well so you know if i were to review this and if i were to give this a uh oh and by the way this is a uh, strike plate this is your strike plate locator i never use this there's an easier way to do it actually the best way to do it is once you get that doorknob in and that latch just put some silicone right at the end of that door latch once you got it on just turn the deadbolt or the lock and it'll open up and it'll strike where that that hole should be and then you just take an inch um drill bit or a borehole saw or whatever and it'll open that up for you but anyway <clears throat> long story short it's built pretty well i'm pretty happy with it uh, is it the best out there? I would say no. It's probably not the best out there, but it works. So if I were to review this, uh, giving it a one being the worst and five being the best, I'm gonna give it a four, a solid four, just because it does make some really nice holes. It cuts out really nice. They give you everything you need with this. And uh, as soon as you get it home, you're ready to go and all you need is a drill. So, you know, all in all, not too bad. Um, if this video helped you, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and check us out at www.toolreviewzone.com. We hope this helps.